Now, more complete coverage continues with Ron Futrell and News 13 Sports. Well, there are no such things as automatic wins, but it's been pretty solid for the Rebels over the years when they play Air Force, they win. Tonight, the Rebels on the road for their second conference game of the season. No local TV on this game, but we got your highlights. Too bad the fans couldn't see it back home. The Rebels looked like they played pretty well at times during this game, at least by the highlights. Dowron Johnson, an outside shot, scores 21. Air Force stays close. Some good ball movement coming up by the Falcons. It ends up being a five-point Rebel lead at halftime. It looks like the Rebels, like the Falcons, are, are not a very big team. So UNLV was able to take control inside, which they eventually do, scoring off a rebound coming up here. And the Rebels win 66-54. They are now 1-1 one and one in Mountain West and will play Utah in Salt Lake on Saturday. How about Gonzaga and New Mexico tonight from the pit? Tied at 89 with 30 seconds left. Gonzaga taking the ball up court here with a chance to take the lead and they get the layup. A tough shot inside. They're ranked 18th in the nation. They get the bucket there. Then key play here. Marlon Palmer driving and he's called for the charge on this play controversial call here and it hurts new mexico they don't get the call in the pit at home and it finishes off new mexico with that a tough loss in overtime tonight also want to mention utah 41 35 over st mary's and that was it a final score utah scores only 41 points but wins tonight Final Monday night game of the season, the regular season that is, for, ma uh, for that matter. If Baltimore could beat Minnesota tonight, they would make the playoffs. The Vikings, no shot at the playoffs. They're just riding out the string tonight. Crazy fans and crazy play here. Vikings having problems at quarterback this year, but not to worry. Randy Moss can throw the ball, and he does it well here. Going to Chris Carter, perfect pass, nice catch. Watch it again. You'll see Moss in the reverse, and he takes the big hit as he lets go of the ball. The Ravens got four field goals from Matt Stover in the game. Not a whole lot of offense in this game. It's the Ravens' biggest play from scrimmage here is this one. Elvis Gerbach to Brandon Stokely, who does the rest with a nice run. The only touchdown of the game was a late fumble recovery by Baltimore to cover the spread. 19-3, the defending Super Bowl champs get the win and make the playoffs. They will play Miami on Sunday in one of the wild card games, Will Baltimore. So not a lot of offense in tonight's game, of course. But and it's those yes. problems that the Minnesota Vikings had with their quarterback this year. Killed me in fantasy football. <laughs> oh, Dante you, Culpepper. You must and then have had Dante Todd. as your guy, yeah, and yeah, did. that did hurt. He looked like a great pick at the start of the season, and he was for a few he was. weeks. And then he got hurt. Injuries. Then, yeah. yeah. There's always next year. Well, there will be now with a new yes. coach, That's whoever right. they get. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right, Ryan. Thanks Green. a lot. Bye bye. All right. Well, we have uh, your look ahead to the morning weather conditions coming up. Your wake-up forecast. Stay with us.